everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about how to add recurring events to your calendar via the booking feature. We will cover what recurring events are, how to add recurring events quickly and efficiently, and how to make changes if needed. In Triple Seat, a booking is a container for multiple events that are tied together. For more information on utilizing the bookings page, please refer to our multi-event bookings video. A great use of the bookings feature will be containing recurring events. Recurring events are events that repeat on a regular basis, whether it be monthly, weekly, or even daily. For example, a group might rent out my main dining room each Sunday for trivia night for the next two months. Their menu is going to be pretty similar each week. Instead of creating individual events, I can use the booking feature to help us get these on the calendar in a more timely fashion. I will start out by detailing out one event with a set of documents as I did here. Like in the multi-event bookings video, if I click here, I can go right into the booking container. I will first need to expand the date range of this booking to reflect the two-month contract that I have with this customer. Once I adjust the date range, I can click Save. When I click into the Events tab, I have many options to manage my booking using the Events Grid. Since I want to copy my initial event and use the documents from that event, I will first click the box next to the event and click Copy. I can copy events to the same day, next day, or through the booking end date. Since I need to copy this event for the next two months, I will change the number of copies to eight. I will need to change the dates for each event, so I will just click to same day. If I was to choose through booking end date, that would mean that eight events would be added for every single day throughout the booking end date. Once I've copied my events, they are all in edit mode. I can click on each event start and end date and quickly change the dates. For this example, I will change the dates for every Sunday until the end of the booking. I also have the option to make multiple changes and adjustments if needed to any column, such as the name, guest count, area, and status. A key component to copying recurring events is making sure that my documents are also copied. I will see the copy documents below each event, and when I check this off, I can copy the documents that were created. When I have made all changes, I can click Save next to each event, or to save all changes at once, I will click Save Changes at the top right-hand side. As guests request adjustments, I can use the Adjust tab to change event details. For example, my guest decides to adjust the start time for all trivia nights to 6.30. I will select all events and adjust to adjust all event details. I can either update the time or just adjust it by 30 minutes. Both options can change my event time. It is up to personal preference which way I choose to adjust them. I will have another opportunity to make sure I am okay with my changes before clicking save. I also have the option to delete selected events. If my guest decides that they want to cancel trivia on December 24th and 31st due to holidays, I can quickly select those two events, click the ellipses, delete, and save my changes at the top. I'm able to copy an unlimited amount of events and make additions, edits, and adjustments efficiently so I will quickly be able to get the two months worth of events on my calendar. Because I copied documents, I can click into any of the individual events, see the copied documents, and make any adjustments to the pricing or event notes as needed on just this event. As a reminder, charges, event notes, and payments for these events would still be managed on the individual event level. To get to an individual event, I would click on the button next to the pencil to open the event's details in a new tab. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team, support at triplesate.com, 
or by clicking on the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple C.